can you explain the test process used in your current project right now this question if you if you say for example you are a fresher right this might not be applicable if you are fresher you might be asked something like can you explain me the test process okay so you should know what test process if you are a little bit experienced they can tweak the question a little bit and they can say can you explain the test process which is used in your current project okay so the test process is standard right if you are doing the right thing you will mostly follow the standard test process it doesn't matter which project you are working right if you are not doing the complete test process properly then you are missing on some of the key things that need that are already defined in the test process right so it doesn't matter whether you are already Already working whether you are a fresher you should ensure that you are following the test process the standard test process and in the standard test process there might be some tweaks or some changes that you can do as per your project so to answer this question you can say yeah in my project I'm um, we, we start with the test planning right uh, uh, analysis and planning so we, we go ahead and we do uh, the planning what exactly needs to be done okay which is the responsibility of the lead and the manager once they do the test planning or they come up with the test plan uh, after that we are involved as a tester we start with the test analysis uh, analyze the user stories the requirement and then come up with the scenarios then go ahead and design the test cases that are required once all the test cases are designed reviewed by the leads and manager and other stakeholders if required then we enter into the test execution phase after ensuring that test environment and other prerequisites are met we go ahead and execute the test cases and then based on the exit criteria that is being mentioned whether the test pass or fail accordingly we mark the test pass and fail raise the defect if the test case has failed follow the defect life cycle and ensure that the relevant defects are also uh, fixed uh, along with that test execution and the process journey or the test process journey and then eventually once everything every test case has been executed and uh, the overall scope has been completed in terms of test execution then test reporting happens which is test completion report or test summary report is being created and which contains what all test cases have been executed what was in scope how many passed failed defects how many have been raised uh, what is the current status of any uh, any defect whether if they are open have they have the exemption has been received for that from the stakeholder so all of that goes into the test report and then finally test closure for that particular particular phase okay so this is standard test process which does it doesn't matter you are a fresher or you are working in any of the project you will more or less follow the same test process in each of your project whether you are doing agile whether you are doing other, any other software development approach now I've been asked this question many times that in agile you have only two to four weeks sprint when do you do test planning right so test planning in agile is not about that you write those 20 pages test plan in each of the sprint in agile in scrum you do test planning to ensure that whatever stories are there in that particular sprint do you understand them do you know when you are going to start executing that do you know who is going to start executing that do you know what are the prerequisites what will be the test environment requirement so all of this is test planning right is planning to execute those user stories in those two two week cycle so it is not about preparing that 20 30 pages test plan that was very common in waterfall approach so 20 30 page plan you need to prepare for the full release which is three months or six months might be that that particular release but in each sprint you still have to do a brief planning wherein you specify how you are going to approach testing what is in scope what is out of scope who is going to test what right so that is the level of planning that you need to do in agile software development approach during your test execution or during your testing right within the sprint so it doesn't matter which approach you are following test planning is still required doesn't matter how long the release is how short the release is if it is short it's a low level planning it's it's basically a very minimal sort of planning if it is a longer release then you need a more broader level of planning with more data in there okay so that's what the test process is all about